Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you're gonna be able to transform your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, for that matter, any MacBook, and give it touchscreen technology and the support of a digitizer or pen. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at version two of the Expresso display. We actually looked at version one uh, last year, and today we have version two. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the Expresso Display version two comes in two sizes, a 13 and a 15 inch. We have the 15.6 inch version here on the channel and it has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. So it's a 1080p uh, screen. Uh, it's a relatively bright screen as well and has 16.2 million colors with a 60 hertz refresh rate and a 16.9 aspect ratio. It's made out of an aluminum and glass body uh, combination, right? The screen is going to be glass, but it's high grade aluminum, super thin, and also very light at 865 grams. Now, as we take a look at what we have going on here, let's take a look at what's included because we have a lot of different accessories and we'll kind of do the re-unboxing because I already took a peek. Now we have several accessories that I want to highlight. First of all, we have an Espresso mount. And the Espresso mount is going to allow you to mount this display on a Visa mount. So if you think about uh, those mounts that you have for uh, on your desks, right, that you may mount or on a wall or on the desk itself, that's what this is all about. So it has all the screws and it has a magnetic mounting system to the actual uh, screen itself. We'll see how that works in a second. So that's what this Espresso mount is all about. Uh, we also then have here a Espresso Mount Go. Really love this. This is why I like this so much. And think about this. With everybody working from home, going to school from home, and if you are... You don't have to be just someone who is artistic that likes to, let's say, draw or is working with uh, software development or anything like that. If you want a touch screen and you want to be able to take notes, handwritten notes, or even draw, you can use this. So this is a portable, actually a portable stand. And we're going to open this up. Um, really, really nicely made, right? And basically, this is what this looks like. I'm going to put it on the side, right? And the screen is going to mount here, as you're going to see in a couple seconds. It just attaches and that's it. So you have either the kind that you can use like this, right? Or you can actually um, use one that is magnetic and then just have this with you and take it where you need to go. And the cool thing about this is that if you're a student um, and you're actually, or you're gonna do a presentation and you wanna be able to take this mount with you, that's how small it collapses to. So that's super cool. Now, put this over to the side. The other thing that we have here is a digitizer, right? And this is a USB-C digitizer that's gonna work with this screen as well. A lot of options here when it comes to creativity. So we'll go ahead and put all these things aside. Now let's take a look at the actual screen itself. Now the screen um, comes really nicely packed and I wanted to show you what this unboxing experience is because I thought it was very thoughtful. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up, all right? And then basically here you have your screen um, and you have details about the actual uh, screen itself. This thing, I, I really, really like the construction of this screen. Uh, first of all, super duper thin. It's a very thin screen. Um, only has two USB-C ports here and you can see what the back looks like. Right, it is super slick, right? A very, very thin display. We'll move this to the side. You have a USB-C cable, right? And then you have a microfiber towel. And then if we open this up here, that's pretty much all there is to it, nothing else. Uh, let's take a look and see how this mounts. Now, before going through the mounting solutions, I wanted to share with you one other thing that I almost forgot to share. And that is that this is an actual portable screen not only because it's small, right, in this size, but because it comes with a travel case. So imagine again, if you are gonna go on site uh, doing some design for a client, or as a student, or let's say you're in real estate and you're working with a client and you wanna be able to show them properties. What you have here is a portable display, right? So you look at this right here. This is a cover for your display that is magnetic. Let me show you how it works. Now the cover actually mounts very similar to what you find with the iPad covers. So it's magnetic and as we open this up, what you'll find is that uh, here you have the actual display. Now, what you could do is you can flip this all the way around. I'm gonna do that here, right? And either have it almost like an intent like this, or what you can do here is watch this. You can bend it a little bit and actually get it at an angle. That's all depends on what you're trying to use this with. Now, remember this display, not only does it have the ability to do a portrait view, but it also has auto rotation capabilities to do also portrait and landscape. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch over and connect this to our MacBook Pro and see all of the capabilities. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna take a look at is how the display uh, with the 
mount works. And you'll notice one of the things I wanted to test out is can you use the display cover with the mount? Because if you need to get this monitor, a portable monitor, you do want to have a protective cover if you're going to carry it in a bag. And then if you're going to use it as I illustrated for display purposes. So first thing I want to do is I'm just going to lift it away just like this. And you notice I didn't really put in a lot of effort because it's magnetic, right? Let me go ahead and put it back. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it right here. And that's all there is to it. Now, if you want to be able to rotate it, you know, one of the things it doesn't have is a swivel, right? So to rotate it, what you do is you just grab it and you just put it just like this, right? So you'll be able to have either mode. Now, the Expresso display does come with the USB-C cable. It comes with different models uh, because everything that I have is USB-C. I chose the USB-C version as opposed to an HDMI version. So my audio and my video is going to come through here. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the standard display mode, right? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put things back together. And I'm going to flip the cover over because, you know what, if I have this cover and I'm going to be taking this display with me, I wanted to see what it would look like if it was placed here, just in the back. And you notice how I have it right there in the back. So it's there. And what I'm going to now do is I'm going to connect this cable to power it up. Now the MacBook Pro that I'm using is a MacBook Pro 13 inch with the touch bar, but this is a 2020 version, right? And all I did is I installed uh, the Expresso display software uh, so that it could recognize the display. Now, a couple of things happen once you install the Expresso display software. It kind of helps the Mac as well as the display work together so that as you're moving your mouse and you start coming this way, it knows that the pointer is right here. So you can actually say, hey, my monitor, and you notice I came up, is on this side, that side. You know, you just determine where it's going to be and it's going to help you as you're using the actual, um, I would say, uh, mouse itself. So you can see as I'm going through, it just comes over to the side. But the reason why you'd want to look at this monitor is again, because of its touchscreen capabilities. So does touchscreen work? Well, if we touch here, notice how the pointer moved. Touch here, you'll notice how the pointer moved. You can also see that the display looks really nice, right? So you have some really good color coming through. Now, if I were to touch this, and we'll go ahead and hit play right there. There is uh, one of the videos that are, is going on in our channel. So it's working out fine. So if we want to see what the overall color quality is, I'm going to pause this for a second. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually maximize the screen. Let's go ahead and tap right there. If we can get it. And we'll go right there. There you go. So now that's full screen. If I want to go over here full screen, I'll tap right here full screen. And now that's full screen. And I hit play. So deep, deep blacks, you can see um, the actual color quality that you're getting right there. Great, I would say, color profile with this. And despite the fact that this is only uh, 1080p, it is doing a really nice job looking at the overall quality of the display. Now, again, you're basically getting touchscreen capabilities. What happens if you rotate it? Check this out. Now on the rotation side is pretty straightforward, right? So I'm gonna remove the cover because it's gonna be easier to negotiate this if I am without a cover. But I'm gonna take the screen, remove it, and then I'm just gonna rotate it just like this. Now, as soon as I rotate the screen, the software, right, and, the, and again, all the, the electronics that are inside of this uh, screen, tell it that it's rotated. Notice how now I have this view. This is really, I would say, um, a common view that you see, especially if you're doing, looking at a stream, if you're doing Twitch, if you're, if you're reading, if you're watching the stock market, uh, the crypto market, whatever is going to be. I like the way that you can just flip things and it just flips and it gives you that next view. Now I've kept the display in the rotated fashion because I like this model or this mode for drawing or for doing any kind of photo editing, uh, making thumbnails, for example. But one of the things I wanted to highlight is that if you have an M1 Mac, right? This is an Intel Mac, this is an older Mac, but I do have a newer Mac that I have um, connected for other editing purposes. Uh, that one has the ability to run iPad apps. So if you think about Procreate, you can actually have Procreate on your Mac, run it, and then use this digitizer. Now this digitizer does have a um, click button right here, and it also has a, an eraser, like a digital eraser here. And then it would also is powered by USB-C. So what we're gonna do here is I have Affinity Photo, and I just wanna show you uh, how you can use the actual digitizer or pen, however you wanna to refer to it, in this program. So I'm gonna lean in a little bit and I've already selected, right, the actual pen right there. And I'm gonna come over here to this area and I'm gonna just write. And I wanted you to see how smooth this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and, uh, and then just put E-B-P-Man, right? 
Not, uh, not Greek penmanship, that's for sure. But this is, uh, I'm gonna say this is cool, right? Uh, I, what I will notice is just using the app, and I think this really comes down to the apps itself, is that while the pen is there, I'm not noticing, oh, well, wait a minute, there's, there is. I was looking to see if there was kind of like any pressure, any weight change. And there's some subtle weight changes as I'm writing. So that's pretty responsive. So you have the ability again to use the pen here. And this is where, you know, this application, the screen, the actual pen, um, actual, the, the actual mount itself makes this in super duper powerful. And not only that, but if you are, let's say a designer or you're doing some stuff from work and you're using a, you know, a web sharing application and you wanna be able to use a digitizer or pen with your MacBook Pro, now you can. Now, one of the cool things that I just wanted to mention with the pen, you can actually attach it to the side. Now, the other thing I wanted to share with you is the overall video quality. Uh, so you can notice that the blacks are black, uh, colors are really vivid, again, for something this small. And while this footage is 4K footage, it has been downgraded to 1080p, and you can see that this looks absolutely great. This is actually one of the test uh, series that I go through when I'm testing projectors, and you can see the overall quality. So for those of you who are not only looking to uh, create, but also entertain, it works there as well. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Espresso Display. See you in the next video.